Now, the Augusta Westland scam is uh, back to haunt the Congress, where former party leader Margaret Alva has uh, made startling revelations in her latest book, where she claims that Christian Michel's father, Wolfgang Michel, had a long and close association with the Gandhis. Alva spoke to India Today's Karan Thapa exclusively. Who was instrumental in getting those specifications changed? What do you have to say about it? On May 11th this year, we aired the interview that became the talk of the town. When the entire media, as well as our agencies, were looking for this man, Christian Michael, the alleged middleman in the scandal tainted Augusta Westland VVIP chopper deal, India Today pinned him down in Dubai and subjected him to a thorough scrutiny. Talk is that you are very close to Congress leaders, that's why you are defending them. I have no relations, I'm not close to Congress, I don't know them at all. Let's listen to him again. Talk is that you are very close to Congress leaders, that's why you are defending them. I have no relations, I'm not close to Congress, I don't know them at all. Now, in what could open a Pandora's box and create ripples in the corridors of power, senior Congress leader and former General Secretary Margaret Alva has revealed that Christian Michel's father, Wolfgang Michel, had a long and close association with the Congress party as well as the Gandhis. Not only that, Alva says that Indian patent tanks were being sold to South Africa, a country with which India at that time had absolutely no relations whatsoever. And that at the heart of this transaction was Christian Michel's father, Wolfgang Michel. In your book you say that in 1980 you were given documentary proof that old Indian patent tanks were being sold to South Africa, a country with which India at the time had no relations whatsoever. And you then discovered that at the very heart of this transaction was Wolfgang Michel, the then Minister of Defense Production, C.P. and Singh, and you were told that this was happening at the instructions of Sanjay Gandhi. That's an amazing story. It came out in Parliament. It's on the record. We did a lot of research. Mr. Unikrishnan and I met some of the top army people at a secret location. They gave us documentary evidence of tanks having been loaded in Bombay and marked for Canada, but unloaded in South Africa. And this is not all. Alva goes on to reveal how after Sanjay Gandhi's sudden demise, the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi not only locked the files at her office, but tried to hush-hush the whole thing with the help of Pranab Mukherjee. The most fascinating thing about your story is that it shows that Wolfgang Michel had a close relationship with C.P. and Singh, who was then Minister of State for Defence Production, and presumably, if the information you were given is correct, with Sanjay Gandhi. Yeah, but Sanjay Gandhi had died by then. But and, the uh, operation, yes. you were told, was happening under Sanjay's under, instructions. Yeah. And Mrs. Gandhi, who was Prime Minister when found out, had the whole thing nipped in the bud very quickly. Yeah, and she, she got the files locked. And, uh, of course, Pranabda spoke to me and said, Margaret, don't push it further. Let's find a solution. It's interesting that Alba has decided to speak at a time when her party has cornered the government on many issues. Clearly, her revelations will give fodder to the BJP, which finds itself cornered over the Arunachal fiasco.